Hey guys, this is AI Gaming 1776. We are looking at Grand Theft Auto with a PNY GTX 960. This is a two gigabyte card. It is factory overclocked. The settings here are pretty darn high. Uh, full 1080p, 60 frames per second. No anti-aliasing. Population density, population variety, and, distance, and distance scaling are all almost maxed. Texture quality is very high. Shader quality, very high. Shadow quality, very high. Reflection quality, very high. Reflection MSAA times two, water quality normal, particles quality high, grass quality high, soft shadows are on soft, post effects ultra, depth of field is on, anisotropic filtering times 16, ambient occlusion is high, tessellation is very high. All right, something weird is happening though. We have a good frame rate, I have VSync off, we have a good frame rate, 80 frames per second, which this is in line with the same frame rate I get with a GTX. 960 for the win edition okay so you know, a four gigabyte i should say gtx 960 for the win edition from ebga which is a good card this is the same frame rate in the 70s and 80s in this part i've done a video i think i posted it last week what's interesting though is okay it looks good the frame rate is good but the vram it says we're only using 1.6 gigs of vram almost 1.7 now, granted, this is not a two gigabyte card, but I don't know why it's not using all two gigabytes. These are the exact same settings. I'm pretty sure these are the exact same settings that I had with the EVGA card, and it was using more than two gigabytes. Of course, it could because it was a four gigabyte card, but this is, oh, it's going up now, 1.7. So maybe as we play, it'll continue to go up. I'm just going in this closet real quick this closet was 110 frames per second with the EVGA card. And this is 108. I was looking at these top shelves up here. I will say that what I think is happening as I look at this, I don't think the very high textures are actually loading. I think the game let me pick them, but I don't think very high textures are really loading. Do you see what I'm saying? Because things don't look as crisp. Uh, it definitely looks different. The game looks good, okay? Everything looks good, the environment looks good. Let me turn on VSync to get rid of the screen tearing. Everything looks good, okay? Does not look bad. But I can kind of tell, VSync on, I can kind of tell that the very high textures are not loaded because in that closet, when you look at the boxes, very high textures pop more, if that makes sense. There's more contrast. And then there's a couple of other clues as I look around the environment. However, the good news is high textures still look good. So what I think is happening, if I had to hazard a guess, ooh, I have no car. I have no car in here. What I think is happening, if I had to guess, is uh, it let me select very high textures, but they didn't load. That would be my guess. And this has happened in other games before also. As you can see, this looks really good. The PNY card is a better performer than I thought it would be. I'm just going to be honest with you. This is one of the cheaper 960s you can get. Um, one of the things I like to do when I try to figure out how good the graphics in this game look, I look at the paving stones in his driveway or other people's driveways for that matter. And these paving stones have a lot of definition to them, a lot of intensity. They pop. So that kind of gets it off to a good foot. And like I said, everything looks really good. So I'm going to take VSync back off so we can look at the frame rate. Because it's at 60. You know, I'll leave it on for a second. As you can see, this is a steady 60 frames per second. And you saw the graphics were almost maxed out. I did tell you I don't think the very high texture is actually loaded, which is fine. Uh, when I use my 2 gigabyte, so I have four 960s at my disposal. Uh, I have them all for testing purposes. When I use my two gigabyte EVGA card, I actually, if I recall properly, I get a higher frame rate when I choose high textures. And I think the frame rate actually goes down when I choose very high. Whereas here, I've chosen very high, frame rate's not going down. So point the point is like the bottom line of this is you're going to get 60 frames per second with VSync on with the PNY card. Also of note, 
the operating speed on the uh, clock up there, MSI Afterburner is going, is going, and the operating speed is only 1380, which is a little bit lower than my EVGA cards. So my EVGA for the win four gigabyte card runs at, I think, 1402, 14, just barely over 1400. So just like 20 some odd more megahertz. Oh, we just went down to 13, 54 for the, see that 1342. Okay. You're going to notice there's a correlation up here. The, here's one problem with the PNY card. It is nowhere near as cooled as the EVGA card. The EVGA card has a, um, ACX 2.0 solution for cooling the card. And that stays at around 68 or 70 degrees. The PNY card is at 80. I'm trying to move this around so it's easier for you to read. 81, 80, 81. And as I've been talking to you, the clock has gone down from 1380 to 1329. But the frame rate still in the 70s and 80s. Look, 86, 85. This is an interesting little graphics card, this PNY card, because I'm pretty sure I'm witnessing thermal throttling right now. I'm pretty sure that as I play this game, the temperature is going up. We're at 80 degrees, which is a full... 10 to 12 degrees higher than what I see with the EVGA cards. So I see the temper and what just happened. Normally, oh, normally when that happens, it's because my uh, antivirus is kicked in, but it didn't kick in. So, oh, now we're in the nineties for the frame rate, which again, this is the frame rate I get with the EVGA cards. So, I think I'm witnessing thermal throttling because the GPU is at 80, 81 degrees. The clock speed is fluctuating. It's at, it was at, when I said the clock speed is fluctuating, it went to 1367 and now it just went to 1354 and it went into the 1320s. So the clock speed is kind of all over the place. Now, when you're on the beach, you do get a higher frame rate. I'm just trying to show you the graphics. When you are on the beach, you do get a higher frame rate than when you're driving around in the city. So let's actually, let's go this way. See if we can get up these stairs over here. This is like the shortcut. I'm normally in a different car though. I don't know if this car can do it. Yeah, that's cool. We'll just take something else. We'll just borrow another car. I like the fake Porsche, actually. It handles pretty well. So, yeah, no, it looks good. It's getting a good frame rate. The EVGA card, the 4 gigabyte card, for sure loads the uh, very high textures. I'm almost willing to bet money this is not the very high textures. The more I look at this environment, it does not look like it's very high. So, but you're still getting a good frame rate, and it still looks good. If this was the only graphics card that I had access to, and I played this game... I would not think it looks bad. This looks just fine. So I've had VSync off the whole time to show you the frame rate. And it's been pretty reliable in the 60s, 70s, 80s, even the 90s on the beach. So let's turn VSync on. I feel pretty comfortable with the frame rate. But let's go down to VSync so you can actually see a better looking image. All right, look at that 60 and everything like pops more now. I like the pop when I play my games. Yeah, it controls fine, plays fine, steady 60 frames per second, just chilling. And I wonder, look at that, look how well the bricks pop right here. Like this is, this is quality, this looks good. So, and I'll talk about this in my GTX 960 review, but here's the weird thing about the PNY card. The bottom line is it looks good, it plays well, it's responsive. That is a rock solid 60 frames per second over there. It's not even fluctuating like usually when VSync is on. It's perfect. Oh, it just did a little bit. It just did it. I was going to say you can expect it to kind of clip between 58 and 60 at times because there's a lot going on on the screen. It's daytime right now. Um, there's all kinds of action going on. You're swinging the camera around like this. Um, it's perfectly reasonable to expect to see the game do um, 58, 59, 60 frames per second 
popping around. That's reasonable. But it's not doing that. It's a pretty solid 60 frames per second. So it's just weird that I'm getting that frame rate. Oh, we're back to 1380 for the clock speed. So we're getting that frame rate and we're getting the good graphics and we're getting the responsiveness, but the temperature is fluctuating. Um, the, the clock speed is fluctuating. The VRAM is finally using almost all two gigs. We're at 1.926, it's, that's fluctuating, but basically 1.9 gigs of VRAM are being used. So we're using the full two gigs now. I still think these are high textures. I don't think this is very high textures that actually ended up loading. So, no, it looks good, plays good. I will tell you, it, this PNY card, this particular one, uh, I'll have a link to uh, which card this is in the description. This card is not an expensive, it's like $200, which uh, a lot of GTX 960s I've seen cost more than that because I normally look at the name brand ones. Not to suggest that PNY isn't name brand, but I normally look at MSI, Gigabyte, Asus, EVGA. Uh, but this is like $199.99, something like that. Maybe $189 sometimes. It's a two gigabyte, two gigabyte card. It looks like it has a reference cooler, but it's all plastic. It's not like a metal NVIDIA reference cooler. The card is very, very lightweight. It's a six pin uh, power connector. So yeah, it looks good. I normally make my videos super long and for some of you, this will still seem like a long video. I apologize for that. Just trying to share the knowledge and the info and to demonstrate how it performs. I, sh I showed you the settings, I'll show you again. I showed you, it's been keeping uh, a good frame rate. And now I remember what I was gonna say. So the issue is the card is loud. I'll have to use a decibel meter to see how loud, but I'll put it like this. I normally do not notice my EVGA cards working, right? Most of the time, those card, the fan never even kicks on really high, even though it's keeping the card at like 68, 70, 71 degrees, the EVGA. The fans are almost never loud enough for me to hear. Now, sometimes um, if I have like Shadow or Mordor maxed out, or sometimes even if I'm playing this for a long time with these settings, I'll hear it. The PNY, I started hearing it within less than five minutes of playing the game. So is that an issue? I don't know. I mean, this is probably one of the reasons why other cards cost more money, uh, other cards that I've used, because part of it is you're getting a quieter cooler. Now, if that doesn't bother you, cool beans. It sounds it, it sounds like there might even be coil wine, by the way, even at 60 frames per second. So it's not one of those things where you can say, oh, well, there's just coil wine because, you know, it's V-Sync is off and it's 144 frames per second or 200 or whatever. No. Um, it, but if it is coil wine, it's not high pitched. I've heard high pitched coil wine on an EVGA card, by the way, um, earlier in the year. It was a it was a different card, different situation. Anyway, so I've heard high pitched coil wine. I'm not sure what I'm hearing from this card. I don't know if I'm hearing a gentle coil wine hum or if I'm hearing um, that's just the sound the cooler makes because the whole thing is plastic. It is so lightweight. Um, I have four 960s. It is the lightest weight by far. Like it weighs almost nothing. Like I would almost have to weigh the thing and then weigh the other cards to give you an objective comparison. But subjectively, it weighs nothing. Like it feels almost like it's made out of cardboard. It's like super hollow. You can squeeze the, uh, the housing of the card. So like you can squeeze it and make it, oops, sorry. You can squeeze it and make it flex. So anyway, um, the card does get hot. We're at 80 degrees. It got up to 81, maybe 82 during the course of this video. So we're at 80 degrees and that noise that I told you out here, it's getting louder now. I, it, if it's coil wine, it doesn't sound high pitched. So I don't know if it's coil wine, but it's not loud and I could almost tune it out, but I can definitely hear it. 
I can definitely, and maybe you can hear it too. I don't know if the microphone is going to pick that up. My microphone is on a boom, so it's not even like I can unhook it and like put it up to the computer for you. But as you see, we've been keeping 60 frames per second. I mean, this has not been bad at all. Let me do one more thing. Look, if you're satisfied with the uh, the performance uh, demonstration, you can go now if you want. I'm just going to load something. Um, this is one of my favorite saves. It's at the uh, the pier on the beach. Obviously, if, if it's the pier, it's on the beach. But with the uh, Ferris wheel and all that, and it's raining out, and there's puddles, and you can see all kinds of beautiful reflections. Here it is. It's right here. So I just wanted to see how it look, looks. It doesn't look bad. I normally get to see this with uh, the very high textures. I do think, I don't think the, the text, the very high texture is loaded. I think this is high. Still looks good. See, uh, you can see the reflection shimmering, the shimmering puddle in front of those cars. So you have uh, the lamp putting light into the puddles and it's raining and then neon signs and stuff. Here, let me get closer to it. It's this puddle right here. I mean, that looks really, really good. The little roller coaster thing normally looks better. Um, but you know what? Part of that is I normally play at a higher frame rate. So I normally play at about 80 frames per second and that does help. So that's probably why that doesn't look as good as it normally would to me. We're only playing at 60 now. But no, this looks good. If this PNY card was the only one I had, I'd be fine with it. It's getting louder again. It almost makes me think that's just the sound the fan makes. It's loud enough that I can hear it. It's gotten louder three different times in the course of this video. There's been at least three times where I've said, hey, it's getting louder. So it's cheap. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. It is a cheap graphics card. And it's keeping a solid 60 frames per second. So it's kind of hard to be mad about that. Performance-wise, it delivers. And it's lightweight, so as uh, goofy as this sounds, the fact that it's so lightweight kind of uh, makes me think it's, you know, it's not going to put as much stress on a PCI Express slot. I mean, that is something to kind of think about. I mean, I don't, I don't know how important it is to think about, but maybe if you're using a cheaper motherboard or an older one that you've been using for years, like maybe a lighter graphics card would be appealing to you. I don't know. So it's got the performance. It's cheap. It's lightweight. But it does make that weird noise. And we're at 80 degrees, which I've been spoiled by EVGA. Oh, look at that. Look how nice that looks. I've been spoiled by EVGA because those cards are pretty quiet, man. EVGA has got a pretty quiet cooler on it. I'm sure MSI does and ASUS does too. I don't know. I haven't used their cards. Uh, it's kind of, I wouldn't say I've been an EVGA fanboy, but my local store almost always has EVGA and NVIDIA reference in stock. Like same day. So um, I've just kind of gotten used to EVGA. And I like them. They make good products. But like I said... I know I'm over talking and I already told you guys that if you were satisfied with the performance review, you could have left by now. I know I talk a lot and I make my demonstrations and reviews very long and I apologize for that to an extent. But uh, I just want to make it clear because if you see this card, if you see this video, oh, we just went down to 52 frames, 51 frames per second. And the clock speed went down to 1316. Now it's back up to 1329. But if you see this video... And you're like, wow, that PNY is cheap and those frames per second are good. And you buy it, I want you to understand it's it's not a quiet card. It's loud. And some people that does not bother them whatsoever. And some people it might. So I'm just trying to make all that super clear. Basically, if you watch my videos and you find yourself wanting to buy a product because you think, oh, wow, I watched this guy's video. Uh, the game looked good. The, the frames per second were there. The video looks good. Uh, the price is good. I'm going to go buy that card. I don't want you to be disappointed. So I feel like it sounds kind of lame to say it's my duty to tell you if there's problems with the game. But, oh, look, see my cards there now. Oh, wait a minute, different, different uh, save file. 
So it sounds weird to say it's my duty, but I do feel like I have an obligation. How about that? I feel obligated to make the shortcomings of the card very clear to you. So it's a loud card. And this actually looks good in here. Nice reflections, nice pop. Uh, the card performs well. The frames per second are there. The prettiness on the monitor is there. It's just kind of noisy and it runs hot. I say it runs hot. I mean, 80 degrees, these cards, I believe, are um, rated to go up to 95 or something. Don't quote me. You're going to have to look on GeForce.com to make sure. So we're still nowhere near the 95. We're nowhere near the um, max operating limit. So when I say 80 is hot, maybe that's unfair. But I think a lot of people these days are reaching a point where they would think 80 is kind of hot. I think um, the 60s and 70s for when your card is on air is kind of uh, the new standard. So, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not trying to be an elitist, guys. Just trying to be thorough. Um, just trying to make sure that I make things clear. Card runs hot, kind of noisy. The core speed or clock speed, the operating speed keeps changing. And I think it's because of the heat. Because the longer I play, the more it changes. And it, it was a higher clock speed when we started. So anyway, this has been AI Gaming 1776. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. I am working on a GTX 960 review. And I am live benchmarking all of these cards. So I can talk to you about my findings. And so I can show them to you. I don't just give you a PowerPoint slide. I don't just say, here's a graph, here's one GTX 960 that I used, and here's a PowerPoint slide. Instead, I just dump all of these videos on you with uh, all this footage showing exactly what I see. So hopefully this is helpful to you. To some people, I, you know, it's probably too much. I, I think a lot of people are quite happy to just have the PowerPoint slide. And judging by... Uh, you know, certain metrics on YouTube, that, that's probably the truth. Like most people probably will not feel the need to watch benchmarking videos for each and every graphics card. And I don't blame you, but I provide them anyway. So hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And again, this has been AI Gaming 1776 and y'all have an excellent day.